Hey all this is Chris Harold Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be doing a uh, comparison between Excel and Google Sheets. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a conditional formatting where we find the duplicates. Now this is one area where Excel just totally shines um, and we will dig right in. So we've got Excel open and you'll notice I've got just a list of names, right? Now, sometimes you can have just a ton of names and you wanna find out what those duplicates are. The easiest way to do that, highlight the column so that we're doing the entire column. You're gonna to go to highlight cell rules. Now you've got all these ones, greater than, less than, data bars, all sorts of stuff, uh, but essentially we're gonna be doing duplicate values. So um, it's got a couple preset in here that are really nice, so you can make them yellow, you can make them green. Uh, those are all nice features, but essentially, in this case, we're looking for duplicates. We're going to turn them red, and you'll notice that Kim um, spelled with an I, which is a fancy spelling, and Francis is a duplicate within this data set. Now, how do you do that in Google Sheets? Let me open it up, and I will show you. So essentially, we have the exact same list. Um, Google's uh, conditional formatting is slightly different. So you're going to go to your Format tab. When you're in your Google Sheets, you're gonna to go to Conditional Formatting. Um, you'll notice I've been playing around in there, so I'm gonna add a new rule. And essentially, it's going to apply from 1A to 1000, which I have 1000 lines in here. Um, there are a couple preset in here. Some of these are nice, some of them are not nice. Um, but essentially, for duplicates, we do have to do uh, a formula. Now, I, th I would guess that essentially, that eventually Google will actually build this in, but until then we've got to do it this way. So, we've got a custom formula, and we are going to use the count a formula. So we're going to go equals count a, or count if, sorry, um, count if. And essentially we are going to highlight that entire column, which it will not let us do, that's exciting. Uh, now we need to make sure that we've got the right range, um, in this case, it should match up here, A to 1000, and then we're gonna call this A1, and then hopefully in a perfect world this works. You'll notice that it actually all came back as one because there's at least one, and then we're gonna do greater than one, and you'll notice that our only our duplicates show up. Now, uh, Google Sheets also has some defaults in here, so if we wanted to turn it to a similar red, we could do that as well. But that's kind of a three-minute three, three minute, uh, quick video on how to do conditional formatting or highlight duplicates for both Excel and Google Sheets. I hope you enjoyed.